In southeastern Madagascar, a mining company is working to protect thousands of acres of forest land. This is part of their Biodiversity Offset Program, an effort to make up for the ecological damage incurred at the site of their mine some distance away. Globally, there are around 13,000 offset projects, and they often carry a human cost. That's what's happening in the village of Ansutsu, Madagascar. QIT Madagascar Minerals, a subsidiary of the global mining giant Rio Tinto, is mining ilmenite 60 kilometers south of Ansutsu. Ilmenite, extracted from sand, is used to produce titanium dioxide, a white pigment used in paint, toothpaste, and many, many other products. On QMM's mining concession, 4,100 acres of littoral forest that lie within the concession would be lost to get at the ilmenite. To make up for this loss, QMM has vowed to protect forests in Ansutsu's backyard. Forests that the community uses for fuel wood and construction material for houses and boats. They also clear forests to grow food. Now, members of the community say they've been forced out of their forest. Now, the offset site is managed by the conservation group at CT Madagascar, an affiliate of UK-based NGO BirdLife International, under a contract with QMM. A CT manages everything on the ground, from working with villagers to paying the forest patrol. Every year, a CT and QMM meet to make plans for the project and discuss a budget. A CT has launched multiple initiatives to help people make a living with reduced access to the forest they once depended on. These include offering training and support in new livelihoods, like beekeeping, pink pepper corn cultivation, and rice farming. But these initiatives have been controversial and a source of tension between a city and the communities. <laughs> QMM says the Biodiversity Offset Project has saved the forest from certain destruction. But measuring whether such a project is successful in conserving forests is tricky. A study of the impacts of another offset project in eastern Madagascar found that though deforestation within the project site was reduced, communities were turning instead to forests surrounding the offset area to get their wood. 
and most local people said they were worse off as a result of the offset project. In Ansutsu, many local people seem to share the sentiment. In a statement, Rio Tinto said that the area under rice cultivation grew from 20 hectares in 2016 to 90 hectares in 2019 and that there were 288 beneficiaries of microcredit schemes in 2019 and 565 people received training in various activities. And Tsutsu's population is around 1,600 people.